All right, in assignment seven, we're gonna be making some simple shed walls here for our project. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Vincent here. Please make sure that you've completed assignments one through six before you start working on assignment seven. If you have any questions, always reach out by Teams chat. Thanks for watching. All right, so um, we're gonna be going back into the assignment where we made the simple slab foundation for our shed. And I called it mine five foundation. I don't necessarily know what you called yours, but that's the one we're going in. Um, as a reminder, our slab should have been between four and six inches. We haven't yet gone in to add in any of the extra portion around, um, but this is a good spot for our shed to start with here. Now, um, let's just verify that we know our dimensions. And so if we use the tape measure tool, we can click on one side and we can come to the other point here and it's 10 feet. Over here, I believe is 12, okay? And that's important to remember because here in Fresno County, the largest shed you can build that does not require building permits is 10 foot by 12 foot. And that's as a result why the, those are the large ones they sell at the home improvement stores because you can just drive them, put them on your property and call it good. All right, now um, obviously cons consult your own building codes. But here we have a an empty blank concrete slab on grade foundation that we're going to be using for our shed. I kind of want to have a, a better zoomed in view. As a reminder, the scroll wheel, I point the mouse where I want to zoom in on and zoom in and that is where I end up going. Okay, now, now that I'm here, um, for this particular shed, we're not yet focusing on what the walls are made out of. We're not putting two by four supports inside. We're not gonna be worrying about the exterior sheathing as far as what material it's made out of. It's gonna be more for looks in the shed. And so to make our walls, very simply, the first thing that I want us to do is I want us to bring back up our tags, okay? Now the tags are over here. The clapboard was our scenes. This is where we could click to get it two dimensional to help us out a little bit. And right above that is tags. So far, nothing is tagged. What I want to do is I want you to make a new tag. I want you to call it foundation. Okay, and then once you make it the foundation, select the entire foundation. And then you're going to click this button. Well, we need to select the foundation with the pencil. And then you're gonna click that button right there. Apply current tag to selection. And now this piece that we see is on the layer foundation. I'm gonna make another tag here and I'm gonna call this tag walls, okay? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working on the walls layer. There's a nifty tool here in SketchUp um, and what it is called is offset. What the offset tool lets us do is make a new shape a certain distance away from an original shape. So I'm gonna click offset and I'm gonna click this edge. I'm, I'm Again, I haven't really, I'm not clicking and dragging anything. I'm going to click that edge and let go. And I'm. you can see as I move the mouse, it's gonna change the distance of that offset piece. And in this particular case right here, we are going to be making the walls of our shed. This is important, listen, six inches. So what I'm going to do down here down there is I'm going to type six and then the quotation mark, which is holding shift and pressing the apostrophe next to enter. It'll be two of them by beside each other, press enter. And now I've got six inch walls. Okay. Um, obviously this is if you're doing a normal sized shed with the 10 foot by 12 foot, if you're making a bigger shed, I know a student's making an indoor soccer arena, for example, if that's you, obviously the whole shape is going to be bigger but your walls are still six inches thick, okay? Now that we've got this here, I'm gonna hold down the scroll wheel button to let me get a different angle. Again, I'm just gonna click and hold that to get a different angle. And what I'm going to then do is go back to my toolbar and I'm going to click that push pull, okay? And so what I want you to do is click that. And, and again, we're not clicking and dragging. That's a bad habit. We're going to click once and, and move in the direction we want this to go. And in this particular case, um, sheds are, I, I just went out and looked at my shed. At its peak, it's 12 feet. At the lowest part, it's eight. 
okay? And so I'm gonna just do this one as eight feet. Uh, that's kind of a standard house size as well. And so we're on the walls layer. I can click the scroll wheel and move. And now I've got the walls to this piece, okay? Once the walls are here, um, you, it's a good idea to rename. So I can go in here, six walls, and click OK. As a reminder, when you're taking a snip to turn this in, you do need to make sure that it includes the file name up in the corner, as well as the date and time in the lower right. This file could be turned in. Thanks for watching.